All right, hi YouTube, good morning, it is Sleepy. I wanna quickly make a video on how you progress after hitting level 50 to tier one, just really quickly. So once you hit level 50, you're gonna to be told to come to um, Vern Castle. There'll be a blue quest you need to follow really quickly and just follow it through until you receive a mail that tells you, hey, here's a boost for another character. Um, and that's how you know you've made it. You will receive gear. As far as I can remember, you got this gear. Thank <laughs> you for the 100 bits. Sleepy like sleepy butt. So it's called Crossing Paths is what the gear is called. And you get it from doing your Chaos Dungeon. I already did my dailies for the day. You start at 250 eye level. So, oh yeah, so you start at 250. You receive it if you boost. But because you're at 250 eye level, you're gonna be able to just do your first Chaos Dungeon. And then from the Chaos Dungeon, you will get this gear and you will want to equip it. Um, so after you do that, you're going to uh, be sitting at 302 eye level and not really knowing how to progress. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna head down here if you're going to Vern or if you're in Vern. And then you're gonna walk a Reno up here. And boop. And then you're gonna click on what you want, upgrade it all the way, max, gear honing, gear hone. And you get a 100% chance to hone the gear until you hit level seven. So as long as you continue to do your dailies, you will continue to have the mats that you need um, to hone your gear. But this is all you have to do. So once you get the crossing paths gear, which you do receive if you boost a character, once you get it from your first chaos dungeon, you equip it and you just continue to gear hone it until you get the new gear score that you're going for. Is this only after level 50? Yes, so you have to hit level 50, proceed through the story and you will unlock this. So honing is basically how you increase your gear score in this game. So I'm just gonna go all the way through until I'm level four on everything. Because I just did my chaos dungeon, so I've got the mats for it. So now that I am level four on everything, my gear score should be, I think, 340 or a little bit higher. 376, wow, okay, yeah. So it's literally the same gear that was item level 302, but because I honed it, I am now at 367 or 76 eye level, which then allows me to do harder content and get different kinds of gear. So I'm gonna be staying at this eye level, but I wanted to quickly explain something else. So I'm gonna head back to the Chaos Dungeon area. And so once again, once you hit 50 really quickly, very easy, once you unlock this Chaos Dungeon, do it, get the gear. Um, so what I wanted to show you was that there's this thing called Abyssal Dungeons that you can do weekly. And the first one starts at 340 eye level, which is why you want to get your alts to 340 eye level if you can. Um, right now I have my main at 546, my main alt at 446, and then this character at 376. Um, I did want to mention that boosting an alt of the same class, so I have, uh, my main is a bard, and then I have a shadow hunter, and then I have another bard. I'm on my bard alt, is usually beneficial because when you do the abyssal dungeons that are the weekly reward, everything that drops can only have the engravings for your class type. So all of these um, accessories and stuff that drop will be for Bard. So I'm not on my main so you can't see, but if you look here on this blue earring, random engraving enhanced shield, that's just a random engraving, but the engraving that I'm gonna get from the Abyssal Dungeon will be specifically to Bard, which is why I boosted a Bard because I want the chance to get better gear on my main twofold essentially and then also i just wanted to mention that you can run chaos dungeons as much as you want you will get these disordered crystals and perception shards if you do it more than your allowance but then all you have to do is go down to this person right underneath the chaos 
dungeon area and you can buy yourself harmony leap stones harmony shards destruction stones and guardian stones for the week it's a weekly limit um these are bound to your character so make sure that you are buying on what or who you need first and then you can gear up your alts um but yeah so once you hit level 50 super easy super fast to up your eye level you just gotta hone it if you're wondering when you get a new piece of gear that you want to equip um just really quickly if you get another piece of gear i don't have one for example at the moment but if there is another piece of gear that you are wanting to switch your gear to um one don't get rid of these ones these plus threes plus fours because all you have to do is click gear transfer so when you click gear transfer you can select the gear that you want to put something on so if i want like my crossing heart path harp i don't think i can click this yeah so if i want like my hands my new hands that are plus zero to get my hands that are plus four then i would click the new gear first and then click the plus four second and it will transfer the plus four over so once you get new gear instantly you're still at the, like the same eye level with better stats and better engravings super easy super simple so that's how you progress through tier one. Hope you guys, you know, continue to, to progress <laughs> through tier one easily and seamlessly. Okay, I am live on twitch.tv slash the sleepy dwarf and stay sleepy.